All right, now for years, Android proudly touted its home screen customization. But let's be honest, the flexibility on the most default system launchers was severely limited. We were typically stuck with a few fixed grid options, couldn't fine tune the size of individual app icons, and had frustratingly rigid control over widget placements and sizing. It often felt like customization in name only. Then seemingly out of nowhere, Samsung completely revolutionized the game with its powerful home up module within Good Lock Suite. This single addition finally smashed those restrictive default boundaries, giving users granular control over virtually every aesthetic element of their home screen and app screens. From overlapping widgets and custom folder pop-up styles to truly adjustable icon sizes, turning the once limited Android home screen into a genuinely personal canvas. Now you guys have been asking me how did I get this kind of home screen setup on my Galaxy S25 Ultra, so I thought why not make a quick video and let you know how you can customize your home screen without boundaries if you love these kind of contents be sure to hit the subscribe button to know your phone better and give this video a like let's target at least a thousand likes for this video now the first thing that you need is obviously good lock application you can download it from galaxy store once you download it open good lock and then search for home up module and install it once you do that just open home up application enable home up you have got various different setting options here we will not be touching them in this video we will only focus on home screen customization enable home screen toggle open it and you will see various different toggles, various different options here. Now, some of these toggles enables you to customize the icon sizes, widget sizes, grid sizes, favorite bar. You can even completely disable the favorites bar at the bottom, customize the pop-up folders, apply folder color background. All this can be done using these default settings here. But if you want more granular control on your home screen setup, then you need to enable do-it-yourself home screen, which is under beta currently. Enable the toggle and open do-it-yourself home screen feature. Once you enable do-it-yourself home screen, you will get a complete control on customizing your home screen. Just press and hold on the home screen. On the top, you will see do-it-yourself option. You can tap on this to start editing your home screen. But before that, what you need is a beautiful looking wallpaper on which you want to customize and set up your widgets and icons. And for that, I use our own wallpaper application, Wallverse. There are some amazing wallpapers, both free and premium. And if you go to collections, you will see some premium collections here. And for this video, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select this black and color category and here we've got some beautiful abstract wallpapers what i'll do is i will select the simple one here uh, i will go with maybe this one here now this has got this black strip on the left hand side and we have got a few square boxes rectangle boxes here on which maybe i can place some widgets so you can be more creative select the right wallpaper of your taste so that you can accommodate the icons and the widgets to make it look beautiful so let's go ahead and apply this on the home screen now here we will start customizing this from scratch. Now what I'll do is I will first add the widgets. Let me tap on widgets. Let's first add a calendar widget here. We've got this widget. I will place it right here and let's expand this. Now you can see you can't have a granular control on this widget. For that, what you need to do is press and hold on this, tap on do it yourself, select the widget, and now you expand it as much as you want. You can see I can rotate this widget if I want, depending on the wallpaper and the setting that you're choosing you can select them. Now, this is the calendar widget. I just put it right over here. And now let's add a different widget, maybe device care. Let's add this one here. And I'll change this to maybe light color because we've got the dark background. And to adjust the size here, go back to do it yourself. Tap on this, minimize it and drop it right here. Now let's add another rectangular widget. Let's add Samsung notes here. Now I will place this right over here. Let's customize this as well. And now we have got some additional space over here. You can add a widget here or you can place some icons here. Let me add another widget. Let me add digital well-being here. Let's change this to light mode and let me change the size over here. There we go. Now I set up these four widgets. Let me add the icons. We already have a few icons here. So let me just select them here and let me bring them right over here now you can see these widgets are overlapping on the icons let's place them here 
Now you can see I have placed all these icons here. Now we can go ahead and adjust the size and its placement and we can have a granular control on these as well. So let me press and hold on this and tap on do it yourself. I can tap on an icon to select it and we can see we have got this toolbar here, tool button here. I can tap on this to expand and move this icon like this. I can even reduce the size of this icon. I can rotate it if I want and now I'll move it. I have got a complete control over here on moving this icon and now I'll select all these three icons and I will try to reduce the size here. You can see I can move them together and I can also resize them together. And now what I'll do is I will place them. There we go. I have placed all these icons right here. You can see and if I want to increase the size of an icon, I can select that and expand it. You can see you can make it as big as this icon here and rotate it and place it wherever you want. And you can also place a sticker on top of this. You can see I will just tap on stickers here and add a sticker. Here we go. I just added this sticker. I'll just bring this on here on this icon. Now let's just go back. Now it's saved. You can see this sticker is on top of the icon. When I tap on this, the application will open up, which is a fantastic feature. This is how you can customize your home screen using granular control on a do-it-yourself home screen feature on Home Up module. And I have also created this particular home screen here. The wallpaper don't go with this. So let's go back here and let me just select a uh, an abstract wallpaper here maybe this one on this wallpaper i created that particular home screen let me just apply this and here you go we have got this uh, blue color strip behind on top of it i have uh, placed all these icons and the widgets and i have used a couple of third party uh, widgets as well this search widget is from a third party widget pack downloaded from google play store i have made a specific video about that particular widget i'll leave a link for that in the description and we have got the now brief widget clock widget and the calendar widget and I have placed all these icons in various different sizes. Now likewise you'll be able to customize this on your home screen. Definitely it is time consuming but if you're interested in personalizing your phone then this is how you do it. That's about it. Let me know what you think about this video. Drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. The lifetime membership is available at 50% discount now as you can see. This offer is ending soon so go ahead and grab your uh, lifetime membership at 50% discount today. The link for the application is in the description. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.